Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. for this video so this is gonna be my unboxing video for the brother p800 i know you guys have wanted this video so bad and thanks to my madre aka mother for surprising me with this machine so i can help you guys out with some tutorials um as you guys know this is my number one recommended starter embroidery machine for those who are just looking to get into the business um and i always recommend this first um because it is cheaper it's not thousands of dollars and you don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a brand new machine if you don't know if you like it yet so this is perfect um it is currently on sale on amazon for 5.99 and i'll link that down in the description below um so let's get right into it i don't want to use my pretty scissors but i will have to um so i'm gonna go ahead and open the box failing miserably side a little bit okay so I'm trying to open so this is the bobbin this is the 90 weight bobbin um, a lot of you guys might recommend the pre bomb bobbins versus these um, but make sure it's a 90 weight just like this and I also have the bobbins linked down below and then some instruction manuals here A, uh, this is a cover so you can cover it so it doesn't get all dusty like my other one and here is the first hoop so this is the 5x7 hoop that it comes with and this is the grid this is what I use to center the designs and I'll show you guys that in my tutorial video It'll probably be one of my next videos so I use this all the time so here put these back in the bag This is the uh, plug adapter cord to plug it in. And here is the little tool kit um, with the little scissors. And um, I there's something about pre-wound bombs that says I haven't looked at this yet. And the rest of the tools you need, some needles um, for what I make. I recommend the 7511 needles, the organ needles. This is what they look like. These are the needles I recommend. The 75, if it'll focus. My hand's in the way. I recommend these, the organ needles, 7511. These are what I use on my multi needles, so they're really good for knit fabrics, aka children's clothing. So that's what I recommend. I don't believe the needles, the machine starts with that. I think they have a different size because these say 1114. So, like I said, I recommend the uh, 7511, and it has a cap for the thread and a lint brush Ooh, and some bobbins. So. Go ahead and put all this back in here. Big piece of styrofoam. Okay, this is the first piece. Here we go. Now that I'm not going to put a big old box. Whoa. Whoa. Except for the 
me move it down. I did want to mention, guys, that you guys should join my Facebook group. Um, it is free to join. You just have to answer the three questions just so I know you that you're not a, uh, a spammer, none of that stuff. But um, it's to help each other out. It's a Facebook embroidery help group. Um, so it's a lot of us on there from beginners to experts. Um, if you have any questions, we'll, you know, we'll be more than happy to help you and answer any questions that you may have about embroidery. Um, people have so many different machines, so you may find someone else that has your machine on there that can help you if you have any problems, any troubleshooting you need. So just go ahead and join that. The link to that is in the description. It's called Angela's Embroidery motivation help group something like that but it's linked down below in the description so go ahead and join that and if you can please give this video a thumbs up guys that just helps you to know that if somebody likes this video people like watching it and it'll recommend it to other people and that just helps me out so thank you guys so much okay so here it is let's take the wrapping paper off oh my goodness so i have the other one which was a p770 and already this actually has a screen, and I'm pretty sure this is a, a color screen. The PD770 does not have color. Okay, so here's the other one. We're going to go ahead and remove all the blue tape. And this, uh, you're moving this. This is just to keep the needle safe. You can win, stop for your chance to win $100. Register your machine. Always register it just in case you lose it. Anything ever happens to it. Register it. And take this tape off. And we have this piece, this is the arm, I think that's what it's called. So for this, how you set it up is you, it's like it just slides in. And put it there, and it all lines up and you just snap it into place. And it snaps right in, move it over some, and take the tape off. Smell of a new machine. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's how it gets set up. Um, oh, it's still a piece of tape. Huh? Okay, so in here, this is where you put your thread. Um, I recommend the Madeira thread. If for just starting out, if you want to get a bunch of threads, I would recommend the um, the Bro thread. Um, bundle i'll link that down below all the threads that's what i started with um if you need thread let me show you so i have a bunch of small threads in here from my old machine so yeah. this is like the sim threads how they come i'll link these down below and i also bought threads from joann's the coats and clark thread um and my favorite thread now is Madeira threads. Um, so, I have my coffee. So, yeah. Put this back on here. I'll go ahead and show you guys how to set up the machine. Power cord. And throw this piece away too. If you can take it off. Why does it look so dark in here? Alright. So here we go. So you're just going to plug this into the back of the machine. Okay. Plug it in. And plug it into the wall. Okay, and we are now going to turn it on. The on button is on the side. Boom. And it is turning on. And here is where you wind your bobbins. 
if you are a bobbin winder i am a pre-wound bobbin buyer so it is turned on and if it is like my other machines if you touch it it usually changes screens yep select my language english is my language raise that presser foot so okay the carriage of the embroidery unit will move keep your hands away from the carriage this happens with all brothers so it's gonna move everything cool 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 so it's moved always press when moving embroidery unit okay always press when okay so whenever you're gonna remove it okay you press that okay so let's see if i can zoom in here zoom 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 yeah you saw my coffee okay on the back of here there's a gray lever you can't even see it over there can you see it on the side nope but that's the up and down the presser foot this is what sews presser foot um and this is where you're gonna hook up the uh five by seven loop you clip it right on um so i do have pre-wound bobbins i already bought so let me go ahead and grab them somewhere okay so these are the bobbins for the focus 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 okay these are the bobbins i got off of amazon i'll link these down in the description they make life easier because a lot of people have tension problems and I just go with pre-wound bobbins to avoid most tension problems. So I'm going to open it and show you guys how to install the bobbins. Mm -mm -mm. Golly. And la la la, here we go. A bunch of bobbins. So how many bobbins in this? 144 so this should last you probably like two two months three months um so here is one bobbin oh y'all over here and the dang is this gonna focus bobbin focus you want the bobbin to make the letter p that's how you know it is the correct correct way the letter p maybe on camera it's like a little p but you know p this way so let me open here, slide it, and it pops right up. And I will take this bobbin out and put it back in the handy dandy case. Okay, so the bobbin will be like the uh, letter P. And you're gonna, I wonder if you guys can see. Let me see. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, so it's like the letter P. And you're gonna place it in, and you're gonna follow. Right? Okay. You're gonna place it in. I you like to hold it, and you're gonna follow the guides. So it comes down here first, goes up and around, and it cuts itself off. That's it. That's how you do it. And if you don't install it the right way, then you're gonna have tension problems. So make sure it's like the letter P first. And then you put this back in. Back in. Just like that. I also want to show you guys how to change the needle. So like I said, I like the 7511 organ needles. It's not going to focus. Okay, well, I like the 7511 organ needles. And I get them off Amazon. And I'll link them down below. Okay, so... To loosen the needle, okay. To loosen the needle, there's this thumb screw right here, and so you guys you need a screwdriver for the first time. So there's a screwdriver in your handy dandy kit. So here's the screwdriver. It's not gonna focus, but comes in your kit and you know, use it to turn it and your needle comes right out and I will throw this in the garbage and your new needle here it is it's the organ needle 7511 size ballpoint 
flat goes to the back. So you're going to put it back in. Same way. Make sure the flat out. The flat side is on the back. And make sure it's pushed all the way up. So I usually put my finger underneath. Obviously, it's not going to hurt my finger, but I just do that and then I use my hand and pull it all the way up and then twist it, the knob back. And then I'll use this screwdriver to make sure it's tight. And we're good. The needle is now installed. A way to check if you installed it correctly is to thread the machine. So once you thread the machine, let me put these needles back you'll know if it is um, set up correctly. So this is, a, this is to stabilize your, th uh, your thread. So you put it in and you put this on and it holds it in place so it stabilizes it. So it does give you instructions. One, two, I can't see, but three should be up there somewhere. Three, four, three, four, five. Okay, so it's been a while since I did this one, but they're all pretty similar. So you're gonna put it in one, and you put it down. It goes under the silver plate, then it goes up to two, and goes all the way around and down. I usually will hold the thread um, so that it, it, it makes it easier, because it's stiff. And then you go under, three, up to four. I can't see, and then down and around, five. And then six is under here. Don't say under there. It's been a while since I did this. <laughs> um, ow, my head doesn't get in the way. Okay, six. Oh, I just had it. Okay, six is behind. You have to get it behind the little silver plate. Let me zoom in. Okay, you see it is behind this little silver bar. It's behind here, it's six. Okay, so six is right behind the silver bar. Seven, you go up. Eight will cut on the side. And then there's a lever on the side. Let me move this up. There's this lever and that's how you're gonna thread it. So you're gonna push the lever down, so. Let me move it, zoom it out a little bit so you can see. I zoom in. Zoom out. Okay, and then you're going to push this out. And it's threaded the machine for you, and you just pull the loop. And it is threaded. So that is how you thread the machine. So I hope that made it easier. I know reading the manual sucks sometimes because it gets confusing, but hope a visual representation helped you. And I usually embroider with the top down. Zoom out. Um, and let's see. I guess I could show you guys how uh, I set up the machine. So that was how to thread the machine. So basic setup. And I'm going to show you how to put the hoop on the machine. Um, so let's just let's just say something is hooped on here. We move these bobbins out of the way. Snap it on. Let me show you here. There are two hoops and they lock into these two circles. Or, yeah, circles, whatever you want to call them. So you just line them up and I hope it's. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, there's two circles here. So what you're trying to line up and you just snap it into place. Like that. That is all. And then to take it off, you just hit this and you pull it right off. So that is how you do that. So that is pretty much all the basics for setting up this embroidery machine. Okay, guys. So those are all the basics of setting up this machine. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the description and I'll be sure to answer you guys. I did want to go ahead and show you guys some other things that you need for this machine. Um, I got these off Amazon. This is the 505 adhesive spray. I got this off of Amazon. So it's, uh, so this is what I use for hooping. Um, 
my because I hoop I float items, which means they're not hooped, they're floated on top of the hoop. It'll make more sense in my next video. But you would need the 505 adhesive spray. If you have a Walmart, it's the they have the spray and bond. Um it's blue, not blue, it's white and purple. It's a white and purple can. Um, but this is on Amazon, the 505 adhesive spray. Um, and it does not gunk up your needle. And um, again, I recommend the pre-wound bobbins. 90 weights, and I'll uh, link these down below as well. You will also need you would need these uh, Fisker applique scissors. That's what I call it, applique scissors, but they're Fisker curved scissors. This is what they look like. Um, they're perfect for appliques. They're literally like the only scissors that work amazing for appliques. So I get these, and they'll also be linked down below. There anything else I recommend also you're gonna need a pencil so when it comes to these I use a pencil you do need stabilizer you can cut away tear away those also be linked down below um, anything else I can think of heat and bond um, you do need heat and bond lights I buy the big bolts um, that's that's what the logo looks like because it doesn't really show in here but the bolt, I usually get it when it's on sale on Amazon for $38, and it is 72 yards, something like that. There's a lot on here, and it's definitely worth the money versus getting the little things at the store. But again, I will link this down below in the description for applications. This is a necessity. So I'll get these. I'm trying to think of anything else I could be missing. So you need stabilizers, tearaway, cutaway, um, water-soluble stabilizer, um... The needles, I forgot. Yeah, the needles, the organ needles. Like I said, I'll just link all the stuff you need to start out um, in the description box below. It'll link to Amazon, my Amazon affiliate. So go ahead and get all that stuff. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Um, or a video you would like to see me do using this machine, I will be doing a tutorial, a beginner's tutorial um, coming up here soon. So again, thank you to my mother for getting this machine getting me this machine so I can help you guys out. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.